<clears throat> dun, dun, dun. Hello, good evening. Hello, Hello good evening. Good evening. Hey, how are you, Paulina? Hi, Jorge. How's it going, people? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo les va? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? How's everything? A juzgar por su cara. Um, very, very good. Ah, o sea que aquí tengo las dos caras. Ah, ay, con razón. Ay, está, sí. Con razón está con ánimo. Ahí tengo las dos caras de la moneda. Mientras yo pregunto, how was your day? Paulina, así como que very, very good. Y Jorge, así como que mm, pudo ser peor, dice Jorge. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So I guess you didn't go to work today, Paulina? Did you go to work, Paulina? Yeah, I'm not No, aquí estoy entrenamiento. Hasta el miércoles, dice. Ah, until. Ah, uh... oh, really? Achi, qué genial usted. Because I really. Un poquito. Qué genial, sí, porque recuerdo en mi caso la última vez que me arranqué una muela, man. <ríe> Un día me dieron. <ríe> Sí, de verdad. Es que como el martes tengo que, me, tengo que ir todavía que me quiten las puntadas. Por eso me mantenieron también. Oh, ok. That's the reason why. Ajá. All right. No, the thing is that en el lugar donde yo suelo trabajar, eh, últimamente están como escasos de docentes. Entonces, así como que nadie tenía como para cubrirme entonces así como que lo siento mucho pero uh, tiene que venir a trabajar en Nueva Zelanda no maravilla así como que ahí todo inflamado usted pero presente dice en me like this good good morning everybody and like grabbing my 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 like this <laughs> oh, that was crazy Yeah, man, and then, um, ah, man, es que, es que yo a veces corro con una suerte, but believe me, man, mm -hmm. ah, eso fue en junio, eh, que me comenzó un dolor horrible en otro diente, just imagine, I mean, it's like, ah, crazy, eh, and, and the dentist told me, y el dentista me dijo, look, te sale mejor oh, el hacerte una endodoncia, y no... Sacártela. And I was like, ah. Así como que. <risa> y así como que. ¿Y eso no duele? <risa> me dijo, lo, lo único que te va a doler es la bolsa. Me... <risa> And I was like. No. Ay, es caro, es caro, es cierto. Yeah, man. So, uh, I went to San Salvador. Fue a una. A una que está en. Eh, a una eh, endodoncista que está en el paseo general. Creo que es. Sí, ah, creo. bien sencillo. ¿Dónde fue? Para ahí me mandaron y yo vi todo perdido en San Salvador. Ay, Dios. Los de los dientes, bueno, de los dientes todo es caro. Yeah, I mean, everything is super expensive. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. anyway, sí, so. That's why we have to. Pero ni modo, hay que hacerle. Exactly. La sonrisa duele, dicen por ahí, y cuesta. Cabal. Y ni modo que andemos con plata. All right. Okay, so good evening for the ones who are just getting connected. Welcome back to another video conference, All right? So tonight we are going to have a very interesting topic. But before starting with the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight, as far as I remember, we have a couple of activities that we did not check yesterday because i remember that you were falling asleep and it was like ah so you went to sleep so we couldn't check right those activities so but uh that's what we are going to do right now as far as i remember we just checked the exercise two from page 19 right corríjanme si estoy mal pero solo revisamos el ejercicio 2 de la página 19. Is that correct? Yeah, I think it was that. Correct. All right, perfect. Yeah. 
So basically, right. we are going to start uh, checking the other exercises, right? Uh, saliendo de la chamba. Okay, Edwin. Buen viaje a casa. All right. So basically, uh, we're going to be checking the other uh, exercises before moving on to the next topic. Okay, so just give me one second. Uh, ¿Cuántos hay? 14. Bueno, uh, I'm going to pass the attendance list first. Voy a pasar la asistencia ya. Porque ya hay más de la mitad. Oh, oh my God. So, give me one second. What happened here? Ah, all right. Selena Janet, is she here? Mm, no, not here. You want to buy things? Cristian Eduardo. I am going to buy this too. Cristian Eduardo, not here yet. Two, two, two. Okay, not here. Ah, uh, Denis Gerardo. Present. Okay, nice. Diana Carolina. Uh, 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 research is not here. Diego Jose. Is Diego here? All right, so he's not here. Edwin Ernesto. Va, va de camino a casa. Edwin Leonel. All right, so Leonel is here. Yeah. Evelyn del Carmen. Present. Okay, nice. Griselda Jamilet. Teacher, presento, teacher, aquí voy. Okay, Edwin. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Oh my God. Pero no va en la en la en las en las gradas del, del microbús. Solía tener un estudiante que se conectaba como oyente, llevaba el teléfono en la bolsa y cuando ya le tocaba su hora de pasar Lisa, uh, solo se escuchaba que decía. Teacher, voy en la grada del autobús colgado, presente. And I was like, okay. That was funny. <laughs> That was funny. No, teacher, aquí vamos. Oh. Tranquilo. Ah, okay. okay. Good, good. That's good. All right. Um, Jorge Antonio. All right, so Jorge is there. Teacher. You got issues with it, isn't it? Teacher, can I point on it? Yes, Griselda. Yes. Ahí la escuché. Uh, let me see. Karen Lisset. Um, all right, so Karen is not here yet. Carla Patricia. Present. Okay, excellent. Uh, Luis Humberto. Present. Okay, great. Norma Jamilet. Present. Excellent. Paulina Olimpia. Okay, uh, Ronald Ulises. Present. Okay, good. Sonia Guadalupe. Ah, okay, good. Walter Enrique. Okay. Okay, Wendy Beatriz. Present. Okay, good. Janira Isabel. Present. All right. And the last one, Brenda Elizabeth. It is not here yet. All right, so she's not here yet. No. Oh. Teacher, aquí estaba, solo que se me fue un momentito el internet. Ah, okay. No me que okay. Very good. So now let's start checking the information uh, that yesterday we couldn't do. So uh, let's start with that before. Let's start with the main topic that we're going to be discussing uh, tonight, guys. So we just did this one. But we did in this part, right? So in this one, it says, circle the correct answer, right? So in here, you had to choose between those and that 
to complete sentence. So now let's start with that. Uh, let me see. Dennis, can you please help me out reading that part, please? And then the name of the teacher to read. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, help me reading the sentence. Sentence number one, and tell me if it is those or that the correct form to complete the sentence. Okay, lo diré. La la respuesta diré de acuerdo. Yo lo entendí. Okay. It's it is necessary to follow those step to purchase what someone needs. Ah, okay. So basically, the one uh, the best suit in there, the sentence for you is those. Correct. That's one, right? Okay, very good. Why is those? ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos la palabra steps, and that is plural, right? So those is the correct one. Good. Now, what about the second one? Parria, help me a reading, please. I think that I want to buy that it does. Very good. That's the correct one. I think I want to buy right, that big flask. I like it. Very good. Because we're talking about something in singular, right? Very good. Now, what about number three, uh, Carla? Teacher, en el rato me desconecté para serle sincero. Ya no me, ya no me conecté, tuve un inconveniente y me desconecté. Ah, ok, ok. Pero okay. según entiendo, no sé mucho, no, pero según entiendo, es, do, do you want to buy this refrigerator? refrigerator? Ok, Ref, listen up. Refrigerator. Color. Ok. Uh, the first one or the second one? ¿La primera o la segunda? La primera. Yo no sé ni qué es. Yes. Mm. <laughs> you guys agree with her? ¿Están de acuerdo con ella? This. Va. This. En este caso, Carla, sería la otra. Porque este, esta primera se refiere a cosas eh, plurales. Entonces, como acá dice, refrigerator is only one. So it's singular. So in this case, it's the second one. This. Okay, to check out. All right. That's okay, great. Now let's read the next one, Evelyn. Please, read I am going to buy. I am going to buy this or this to tablet with this or this credit card. All right. Um, so the first option, this, the first one or second one? This, the first. The first one. Yes. And uh, what about uh, this? And second. Second. This. Here? Yes. Okay, very good. That's the way, all right? I'm going to buy these two tablets with this credit card. Very good. Okay. Right. So basically, this is the way I got it. If you got it like this, guys, it means it is correct, okay? Very good. So that was uh, related to uh, the second part, right? Uh, part number three, actually. Okay, now let's jump into the next one. Uh, uh, all right, it was this one, all right, that we were just doing. Okay, but let's try to do it together for the ones who didn't finish this part. It says, write the correct demonstrative pronoun. In here, lo que tenían que hacer igual era escribir el demonstrative pronoun adecuado a la pregunta o oración, right? That's all you got to do here. Uh, Norma, can you please help me out reading the first question? 
Do you want to buy ta tablet? That tablet? All right. Yes, I want to buy the black one. All right, so you got that. Okay, good. That is the one because you got in singular form, right? Very good. Ronald, read number two. <clears throat> Can I see those jeans? Those? Sure. Okay. Uh, those jeans, okay. Very good. Now, uh, let me see. Leonel, right number three. My friend and I mm -hmm. are interested on this makeup. Okay, can you spell it, please? Podría deletrármelo, por favor, para colocarlo acá. T H T S E. This one? Yes. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, vamos a ver. ¿Están de acuerdo los demás? Okay, Janira, thank you. Uh, uh -huh. ¿Por qué les ah, ajá. No, eh. ¿Por qué les pregunto eso? Porque la palabra makeup es algo incontable. Y por lo tanto... Es singular, Leonel. Uh, that? No. O simple y sencillamente this. This. Exactly. Right? So you can use it that way. Right? This is like going to be the way. Okay. Now, thank you, uh, Leonel. Now, the next one. Mm -mm. Wendy, number four. Wendy, are you there, Wendy? Did you bring that pancake? Okay, did you bring that package? Package. Package. En serio, le juro, quizá lo que no es cenado escuché pancake. And I was like, ah, food. Es que olvidé, olvidé cómo se pronunciaba. Yeah, I mean, I know, Wendy. Pero agregado a eso, el hambre que tengo, por eso es que le digo. <laughs> All right, thank you, Wendy. No, uh, let me see. Who can help me out with the last one? Selena, help me out with number five, please. I have to go to buy. That's number six. Those? Six. Yes, mm -hmm. I mm. have to the go to buy this new book the library. at the library. Okay, very good. Library. I have to go. Okay, I have to go mm -hmm. to buy mm -hmm, those new books at the library. And it says the next person, I'm going with you, right? Okay, good. Thank you, Zelina. And we got the last one. Uh, let me see who can help. Christian, help me out reading number five, please. Mm -hmm. 
you can you can't add those four sweater to the chart. Four sweaters to the chart. Ah. Okay, but can I take two? Okay. Those. Or you can even use this. This. Estos. Can I take two? Sí, vamos a ponerle this. Aunque igual, dos podría ser, pero tiene más lógica this. Como estos yes. cuatro sedes. Okay, very good. So this will be the way how you guys should have this. You have now filled them up uh the previous class so now you got an idea about how to do it remember those and these are for singular uh, i mean for plural subjects and these and that are for singular subjects right when you talk about just one all right so basically that's like the way how you can handle those ones right okay now I am going to stop uh, sharing it right now. And that's just going to be <laughs> just part of what we were just doing last class, right? Very good. Now, let's jump into a short presentation that we have for tonight. And right now, it's just about the topic that we're going to be discussing. All right. Oh, who wants water, man? Oh, okay. Is that Evelyn wants water? <laughs> yeah, se puso raro el chat. Okay, let's continue. All right. So... Let's move it. All right, so basically this is the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight. It says how to use can and could. Este no es could. La L por lo general en esta segunda palabra no se pronuncia, okay? So basically, the, the, the pronunciation of this one is could, could, right? That's the pronunciation. Can, could, could. That's the pronunciation of it, right? So basically, uh, we, we just have a previous background about the uses of can, right? So it's going to be easy to you but then we got could. Could is the past form of can, right? So could basicamente es la forma pasada del verbo auxiliar can, just for you to have an idea, right? Now, let's start over and talk a little bit about this. All right, so what's like the most relevant that we got for the class agenda tonight? Uh, we got the review from the previous topic, something that we just finished. Uh, now we're going to start uh, talking a little bit about the uses of can and could. Right after that, we're going to have a short conversation in the manual. After that conversation, you guys are going to do a couple of exercises in the manual. And at the end, obviously, we're going to be checking those exercises. So basically, this is like part of what we are going to be discussing tonight. All right. So let's move now. Can. All right. As I told you, we were discussing the uses of can at the beginning of the module. Now, guys, what is can or what do we use can for? In what situations can I use can? Vamos a ver si recordamos. Esto fue en la segunda clase, si no me equivoco. No, tercera. Can. Now, in what situations can I use can? Information or express possibility. Information and possibility. 
facility. Okay, so information, information and or express possibility about something. Okay, very good. Remember, when it express possibility about something is when we got the just no questions, right? And basically when we got WH words into questions, it expresses information, right? Very good. Now, you're going to see them in a very kind of different ways. For example, it says, can is often used to talk about abilities and formal requests. Right, so we're going to do, uh, we're going to change the look out of Ken, and now we are going to be uh, discussing formal questions using Ken, but for requests, para solicitudes formales, right? Por así decirlo. Okay, right. but when you use it in a positive statement, Ken, it's mostly used to talk about possibilities, okay? Básicamente, can, cuando lo usamos en oraciones posit positivas, generally we use it to talk about abilities. Generalmente en oraciones positivas hablamos sobre habilidades, right? So are those uh, kind of activities or series of activities that are easy for us to complete or to do? For example, check this uh, series of examples. Uh, let me see. Norma, tell me a read in the first sentence, please. I can send my personal information. Okay, very good. Thank you. I can send you. My personal information. What are we talking about there? Basically, we're talking about abilities, right? A esa serie de habilidades que nosotros podemos tener, right? So another one. Uh, let me see. Griselda, help me out reading, please. You can write a letter. Okay. All right, so you can write the letter, right? So that's also an ability. Okay, so now we got one in negative. Diego, let's read it, please. Can't pay for the TV at the moment. Okay, let's say she can't, right? Pay for the TV at the moment. Something that you have to remember it's that can is a pure auxiliary verb. Can es un verbo auxiliar nato. Por lo tanto, en oraciones negativas y preguntas no agregamos un verbo auxiliar adicional. Y can siempre tiene que ir acompañado de otro verbo. Nunca puede ir el solo en una oración o pregunta. Remember that. You have to use can with an extra verb. Si no, entonces la oración no estaría correcta. That's just for you guys to have an idea, okay, about uh, what is can. Like in this case, so you see, she can't pay for the TV at the moment. Pay is the main verb. I pay es el verbo principal. So you see, so can is just uh, part of it. Como un agregado nada más. But remember, with can, we can express abilities. Can, básicamente, es usado en oraciones afirmativas para expresar habilidades, right? So, what are, like, those activities right, or abilities that you have and are easy for you to do? For example, in my case, I can say, uh, I'm going to write down my example. So, yo puedo decir fácilmente, I can speak English. So that is an ability that I have. Básicamente, esta es una habilidad que yo tengo, right? Y básicamente he desarrollado, por decirlo así, right? I can speak English. Now, can you guys tell me what are those activities that are easy for you to do? Oh, 
those abilities that you consider you have. Toda aquella actividad que sea sencilla para ustedes hacer es una habilidad, por así decirlo. Right? So, can you tell me, guys, in an example, what can you do? I can sleep. Come on, man. That's not a bit. That's not an ability, Paulina. Come on. I can copy. <laughs> no, de hecho, de hecho, cuando estamos hablando de exámenes o cosas por el estilo o copiarle algo a alguien, se usa shit. It is. Shit. Copiar o plagiar algo, right? Let me draw. Uh, okay, so you can say I can draw. All right, that's one. I, I can cook very well. Uh, vamos a ver que me lo dijeron a, a todos. Uh, uh, Evelyn and then All right, Evelyn. <laughs> Paulina, inicien. <laughs> I, I can dance. I can dance. Ah. Okay, very good. I can work. I can work. Okay. Okay. Evelyn, what was yours? I can cook very good. Okay. I, I can cook very well, actually. Okay. Very good. Very good. <laughs> uh, somebody else? Any activity, guys, that you uh, easily can do? Para los que tienen la cámara apagada, denme una oración, un ejemplo, sobre una actividad que sea sencilla para ustedes hacer, que la consideren una habilidad. Ok, good. Ajá. Bueno, vamos a ser más específicos entonces. Uh, let me see. Carla. I can play soccer. Ah, ok, good. I can play soccer. Leonel. What can you do, Leonel? I can. Uh, I can. I can cook the dinner. <laughs> okay, good. I can cook the dinner. That's one. Selena? Yes, every day. Perfect, Lenin. Thank you. Selena, give me your answer. I mean, your sentence. Mm -hmm. I can... I can the chore. Ah, una actividad que, que usted considere que es una habilidad, Salina, y que usted la haga fácilmente. Ah. Sleepy, teacher. I can the sleepy. Ah, oh, come on, dormir no es una habilidad. You're like, like Paulina, man, sleep. <laughs> oh, my God. Todo el día, sí. Está todo el día, sí. O sea, que ustedes no duermen, ustedes hibernan. <laughs> Se puede ver. No, ver? no, sí, todo feliz. Oh, my God. Selena, no, por no, ejemplo. Y <laughs> Cabal. Eh, can, you, uh, can you swim, Selena? Pueden nadar, por ejemplo, eso es una habilidad. Yes, yes. Ah, so, tell me Hacer ejercicio me gusta. Ok, I can do exercise, that's one. Cocinar. All right, so you can say, I can cook. Uh, all right, so I can, uh, what else? Swim. <laughs> Those are abilities that you have. Hacer ejercicio. I can do exercise. Exercise. Yes. Mucho, mucho. 
Mire que nadie tiene, tiene tan, tan, tanto esa habilidad. Yo que ya tengo como dos meses de que, de, de que estoy yendo al gimnasio en mi mente y nunca voy. So, siempre digo, el lunes voy, el lunes voy, el lunes voy. <risa> En su mente va a tener. Exacto. No, de hecho, este, no, es que miren, este, este lunes iba a comenzar, pero cuando vi que salí del trabajo y iba a llover, así que nada, dije, me va a hacer daño, así que. Y mañana, dijo. Tomorrow. Y luego cuando venía llegando a casa, se me olvidó ir al gym. Teacher. Ay, qué distraído. también. Ah, you can swim, I mean sing. ¿Cómo? Uh, you can say I can sing. Can sing. No. Ah, okay. Right. Good, 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 good. All right. Isabel dice I can drive a motorcycle. Isabel, en este caso el verbo sería ride. Ride a motorcycle. Ya para motocicletas es right. No, who's missing? ¿Qué nos falta? Sonia, did you participate already? ¿Ya participó? No, right. Sí. Denis me confirma. No, aún no he participado. Ok, good. Let's go. Sonia. I can use the cell phone. Okay, okay. That's an ability. All right. Esa habilidad, sí, de usar el teléfono. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Okay, thank you, Sonia. Uh, let me see. Wendy, did you participate already? Uh, I can draw or I can dance. Okay, good. I can dance. Okay, very good. Thank you, Wendy. Griselda. Did you participate already, Griselda? I can swim. Okay, very good. So you might say, I can swim. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. I can fat fast. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sería, I can get fat fast. Like this. I can get fat fast. Hey, ya somos dos. Nomás huelemos la comida gras con grasa y aumentamos cinco libras, man. I am like that, man. I am like that. En serio, envidio a esos que comen y comen y comen y nunca engordan. Man. It's like, blessed. For real. I would like to be like that. Okay. Great. Now, let's move on. Creo que uh, la mayoría participó. ¿Por qué se me hace que Paulina es una de ellas? Man? Right, Paulina? Sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Soy una de esas. Sí. Es un talento culto mío. Exactly, exactly. Okay, great. Let's continue. Uh, now, we're going to use can, but in questions. For example, take a look at this, uh, this one. Mm, let me see. Someone who has not participated yet. Walter, do you listen to me, brother? Walter? You there? Mm, okay, Walter, I think uh, he doesn't uh, listen to me. Now, Diego, are you there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Help me reading the question, please. Can you tell me the company rules? Okay, very good. So you see, 
Can you tell me the company rules? Basically, what are we uh, doing in the cares? ¿Qué estamos haciendo en ese caso con esa pregunta? Estamos solicitando algo. We are requesting something, right? So, the easiest way to answer this question is, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Y ahí tenemos la respuesta, right? Positiva. If it is negative, we can say, no, I can't. So you got two ways of answer that simple, just no question. Yes, I can. No, I can't. All right, the next question example. Uh, let me see who can help me out. Paulina, let's read it, please. Can she join the marketing team? Thank you. Can she join the marketing team? So you see? So basically in there, what are we doing? We are asking something, right? We are requesting something. Estamos solicitando algo. So again, if the sentence in the answer is positive, you will say, Yes, she can. But if it is negative, no, she can't. Right? So basically, this is the way how you got it. All right, so we got another example here. Norma, let's read it, please. Who can she call to solve the problem? Okay, very good. Thank you. Who can she call to solve the problem? All right. So that is an information question, right? Good. So now take a look at the answer. Edwin Ernesto, help me out reading, please. She can call her boss to solve the problem. Okay, excellent. Listen up. She can call her boss to solve the problem, right? Ah, ella puede llamar al jefe, a su jefe, right? Para solucionar el problema. Good. Now, basically, this is the way, guys, how we can ask and answer questions using can. Now, I don't know, guys, if you have any question, if everything is clear. Hasta acá, vamos claros. Or do you have any question? Okay, Walter. Uh, do you guys have any question? Mm. Qué colorida Ana Paulina. Huh. Bien se nota cuando uh, hay vacación, ¿verdad? <laughs> Tiene que notarse, teacher. <laughs> All right. There you go. Sí, hombre. Mire, esté bien animada. Y mire, Ronald, ahí. Así como, ah, oh, mañana otro día. Mañana es último día, dice Ronald. <laughs> yeah, man, we gotta be like that. Es tipo, ah, uh, oh, my God. Tipo yo ahora trabajé hasta las seis y media, no, seis quince, luego salgo volando a casa, seis cincuenta vengo llegando acá, así que, uff, super funny, man. <laughs> okay, but work is work. All right, I don't know, guys, if you are copying this, are you taking notes about this? Are you taking notes? Or you finished? Can I move the slide? Teacher, ¿qué es join? ¿Ah? ¿Qué es join? Join, unirse. Unirse. Yeah. Um, okay. okay, great. Eh, ¿Están tomando nota o ya terminaron? Okay. Ya, teacher, ya. Al menos yes, ya terminé. Okay, okay. Uh, solo dame un segundo. Mm -hmm. 
All right, sorry about that, guys. Uh, uh, I gotta do something now. So that was like the uses of can. Now let's start with the uses of could. Right. So in what situations can I use could? All right. So take a look at this, Jorge. Let's read, please. It's used to, to express abilities in the past and possibilities also for polite requests. Co is more formal than can. All right, there you go. Thank you. As it says, listen, it is used to express abilities in the past and possibilities. Básicamente estamos hablando que es todo lo, o, lo que Ken hace, solo que en pasado, right? That's what it is. Also, it says for polite requests. We can use it for polite requests. And it says, could is more formal than can. Por lo general, could suele ser más formal, right? So basically, in this case, can means poder, could means pude o podría. Yeah. All right, those uh, translations you got about could. Now, we got a couple of examples in here. All right, in a positive example sentence, Parria, help me reading this one, please. I could work until late today. Okay, very good. So what are we expressing in this case? Aquí estamos hablando de una habilidad en el pasado, right? I could work until late today. It's like, ah, pude trabajar hasta tarde ahora, right? So basically, you're talking about a past action in here, right? Now, let's take a look at this. Uh, Dennis, read, the, read this one. You could make more money. Ah, okay, very good. You could make more money. That's like, ah, pudiste hacer más dinero, right? So that's a past. I need. Ability. Everybody, brother, everybody. Everybody needs to get more money in a somehow. All right. Now we got the next example. Uh, let me see. Alguien que no me haya participado mucho. Let me see. Griselda, let's read number three. She could send a letter to her husband. Okay, very good. So take a look at that one. She could send a letter to her husband. That's like, I mean, ella pudo enviar una carta a su esposo, right? So basically, we are talking in there about a past action, right? So that's a past action, right? Good. Okay. Bye. All right. So let's move on on here. Mm. Okay. Let's make it up. Now, in questions, take a look at this one. Uh, 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 let me see who can help me out with this one. <sighs> Isabel, I see that you are up to participate right now. Can you read the question? Could you do me a favor? Okay, could you do me a favor? Now, ahora bien, en este contexto ya no hablamos sobre acciones pasadas. Ok, y aquí no hablamos sobre una acción pasada, sino más bien una acción que estamos solicitando de manera formal. Ok. Could you do me a favor? It's like, ¿podrías hacerme un favor? So that's a translation. 
that we got there about this question, okay? In here, it's not a past action. Remember that. All right, so in this case, this kind of answers, it goes like this. And it says, yes, of course. Right? Yes, of course. Curiosidad ahora. ¿Por qué? Y quiero que alguien más o menos me dé, me dé una idea. Debo suponer que ustedes ya en el módulo pasado vieron un poquito de esto. ¿Por qué yo no puedo poner acá, yes, I could? Aunque gramaticalmente yo lo puedo poner. ¿Por qué la respuesta acá no es, yes, I could? O si se puede. What do you guys think? Teacher, según yo recuerdo, porque en sí es una pregunta abierta o algo abierto que se hace. Y, o sea, no necesariamente como el que, que sí, yo puedo o no puedo, sino que ahí puede contestar libremente. Mm, ok, kind of, it goes like that. Thank you, Parrilla. En este caso, va, una forma sencilla de poderlo decir es que, listen, sí lo podemos usar, pero... Parrilla, imagínese que viene Ronald bien desesperado y le dice, hey, Parrilla, could you do me a favor? Y usted le dice, Así está bueno. yeah, listen up, y usted <risa> le dice, yes, I could. Es como, le está respondiendo, sí podría, pero ahí le está dando a entender como, sí podría, pero no como quiero. Informal. Es como una forma vaga de dar la respuesta. Es como, sí podría, pero... No, más informal. Exactly, es como, es como un sí positivo, pero a la misma vez es algo que no da la seguridad de que usted va a hacer lo que le están pidiendo. Como en este caso, es como, sí. ah, ¿podrías hacerme un favor? Yo, pero podríamos decirlo como de mala gana. Exactly. Para es responder. Como, ok, es como, ah, sí podría, pero mm, no quiero, right? O, o no lo voy a hacer. Yeah. Right? Entonces, ya. Yeah. Estoy yendo, Ronald. In this case, in this case, por eso no se usa, ¿ok? Por eso es que esta, esto, por lo general, no se usa. Y usamos expresiones como, yes, of course, right? Or you can say, okay. sure, I'm going to write them here. ¿Cuáles son las posibles respuestas que podemos dar a preguntas así? Por ejemplo, ok, sure, yes, of course, Right. Yes, right now. Uh -huh. Right away. In a moment. In a minute. So, these kind of answers are the ones that you can provide in questions like this. Okay? No es lo mismo que Parrilla le diga, ah, yes, of course. Right? A que le diga, yes, I could. Right? So, it is, it is not the same, the kind of answers. Right? So those ones in a are... moment, Ronald. <laughs> in a moment, exactly. So you can use it like that, right? <laughs> so basically, these are the models of answers that you can have on this kind of questions. All right. Now let's continue with the next example questions. Evelyn, let's read this one. Could you prepare the presentation? Okay, excellent. So the answer here is right away. By the way, what is right away? What is right that? Away. Right away. Right away significa en este instante. O sea, a los salvadoreños, ahorita. ¿Ok? Es otra forma de decir right now. It's just another uh, way to say right now. Right now. Yeah. Right now, right away means the same. Ok, so we got the next one in here. Uh, let me see. Leonel, let's read it, please. Could she dance with me? Okay, good. So let's say, could she dance with me? 
¿podría ella bailar conmigo? <risa> Vaya, aquí sí, <risa> digo, este tipo de respuesta es como un sí, pero un tanto vago. Let's read it, Paulina. <risa> Paulina. Yes, she goes dance with you. Ok. <risa> este tipo de pregunta, listen up, cuando no va directamente a una persona, o preguntado directamente a una persona, eh, es como una posibilidad. Recuerden, acá no es algo cierto. ¿Por qué? Porque acá la pregunta es como que, ah, Ronald está con Christian en una fiesta y vean a Paulina ella sola, ya. Y le diga, Hey, could she dance with me? ¿Podría ella bailar conmigo? Y el otro le diga, yes, she could dance with you. Sí, como, sí, ella podría bailar contigo. Pero de que esté seguro de que eso va a pasar, nah, right? So that's a possibility, <risa> remember, right? So, en ese contexto es que se maneja esa estructura, ¿ok? There you go, guys. Do you have any question up to now? Something that probably you don't understand until here. Vamos, claro. Que con could no se cambiaría el, el verbo, nada, en nada, ni en tercera persona. With could. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Estos verbos, listen, estos verbos son llamados modal verbs. Estos verbos, como les dije anteriormente, son verbos especiales. Estos no se modifican cuando básicamente usamos tercera persona. ¿Cuáles son los que comúnmente son llamados modal verbs? Va, tenemos can, could, may, might, must, yes. uh, will, shall, two, four, six, seven, it's missing, uh, should. Estos son los famosos moral verbs. Estos verbos, cuando usted los usa en una oración, aunque use una tercera persona, no se modifican. Right? So you can say, I can, you can, she can. I should, you should, she should. Right? So you see, they don't uh, get modified. Okay. Let's move. Let Let's move. Okay. Good. Any other question, guys? No sé si tienen alguna otra duda. Something uh, that probably is not a hundred percent clear. Algo que no esté del todo claro. Oh my God, so everything is super clear. Great. Uh, if you guys are taking notes, please copy that and let me know later. All right? Háganme lo saber cuando han terminado. Let me know, guys, when you finish, please. Finish, teacher. Okay, very good. Finish. Okay. 
Very good. Finish, teacher. Excellent. So let's continue. I am going to erase all these. And now we are going to go straight to the manual. Now take out guys your manuals because we're gonna go there. I want you to go to page uh, 21, page 21. I'm gonna project it in here. Uh, it's this one. Okay, so what are you going to find on that page? So the first thing that we're gonna be doing, it's a short conversation that we got here, guys. Okay, it says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. What am I going to do in this case? I am going to read the conversation two times. Then when I finish reading the conversation, if you guys have questions with the vocabulary, let me know, okay? So this is a conversation between Linda and Juan, okay? And Linda says, listen, Thank you, I mean, thanks, thanks so much for calling. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? How can I help you? Juan says, Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Could you give me? Could you give me some information? Some information about the pro washer. About the pro washer. Linda says, of course. Of course, it has a capacity. It has a capacity of 5.2, 5.2, listen up, cubic feet, cubic feet. This is the meaning of this one cubic feet, all right? A turbo processor, a turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. And an intelligent keyboard. Juan says, I see, I see. Can you give me information? Can you give me information about the warranty? About the warranty. Linda says, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Could you repeat that, please? Juan says, can you give me information? Can you give me information about the warranty? About the warranty? Linda says, Thanks, thanks. The warranty of it, it's for, the warranty of it is for, right? And we stay like here. Okay, now guys, do you have any question with the vocabulary in this conversation? 
do you have any question, any doubt with the pronunciation or any word that you guys don't understand? Share case on keyboard. Keyboard. Keyboard means teclado. Okay. That's a keyboard. Keyboard. Keyboard, teclado. Okay, keyboard means teclado. Intelligent keyboard, that's like teclado inteligente, right? Okay, good. Any other uh, word? ¿Alguna otra palabra que no comprendamos muy bien o que la pronunciación se nos haya olvidado? Sí, señor. Yes. En, en la tercera donde dice Linda, en esa donde está solo la C, la U, un puntito, la S y la T. Okay. ¿Cómo dijo que se pronunciaba? Vaya, esta se puede, se, puede, se puede interpretar de dos maneras. Cuando es singular, sería cubic foot. If it is plural, cubic feet. Y es pie cúbico y es cúbicos. Ok. Ok. That's the meaning. Cute feet. Cubic feet. Yeah, in this case, cubic Cute. feet. Cute. Cute. Cute feet. Cubic feet. Yeah. Cute feet. Cute. So, any other teacher? Ah. Huh? Again, I wait to. All right. Warranty and one warranty. Warranty in means... my me. Okay, warranty. Garantía. Garantía. Mm, okay. La garantía que trae algún artículo, right? Okay. Here we go. Okay, good. Uh, any other word uh, that you guys have any problem with? Or you don't understand? No? Excellent. Now, what are we going to do? We're just going to practice this short um, conversation. Quiero que practiquemos esta pequeña conversación. Right after that, guys, necesito que también, aparte de eso, give me one second. I'm going to clear up this. Quiero que una vez practicada la conversación, Vengan a esta parte 3, this part 3, y necesito que me respondan estas preguntas, ¿ok? Con relación a la conversación, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, dice la número 1, what does Juan want to buy? ¿Qué quiere comprar Juan? Aquí me van a poner, Juan wants to buy, y luego acá me dicen lo que quiere Juan comprar que ahí lo van a tener en la conversación, ¿ok? So that's what we are just going to be doing. Remember, if you have any question, I am going to be jumping uh, around the breakout rooms so you can uh, ask me in there, ¿ok? Bien, ahora voy a crear los grupos. So just give me one second. Para los que les suelen tomar captura a la, al manual, uh, take it right now. Okay, supongo que ya lo hicieron, so I'm going to stop sharing. And I want to know, guys, who is uh, active for the conversation? Walter, can you participate or are you still off? ¿Todavía está fuera de, de línea? Norma, está 8.4, 8.9. Norma, eh, está, ¿puede participar Norma o, o todavía no? No yet. Bueno, creo que Norma todavía no. 
al igual que Walter. Debo suponer que los demás sí podemos participar solo. Okay. Just give me one second, guys. I am uh, going to move a couple of people here. Okay, good. Now, let's open up the breakout rooms, guys, and let's go to work on those activities. And then we're going to come here and check them, okay? Let's go. Press the accept button, button, please, and let's go to work on those activities. Selena, Diego, Paulina, do you have any issue uh, getting connected? Diego and Selena, are you there? All right, so Diego is in. Selena, are you there, Selena? Elena. Q4. 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 Turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you speak that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for do, do, do. Well, child. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Entonces, si quieres inicia tú ahora, Jorge, y te sigo. O no sé, con Ronald. Vaya, voy a empezar ya. Okay. Thank you so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 cubic foot, feet, uh, turbo process, process 
and a challenging keyboard. Keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat? Task, please. Can you give me information about the warranty? Uh, guys, uh, well, guys, uh, sorry to stop you. Uh, perdón, perdón ahí por interrumpirlos. Solo que en, eh, cuando van a, vayan a pronunciar no es can, es can. Can, ok? Can. Can, yeah. Ok. Very good. Can you give me information? Es la número 21. Ya le, ya entendieron. Quiero ver, solo son las tres preguntas que van a responder la conversación, ¿verdad? Yep. Hey, ¿Qué pasó con el otro? Compañero, ¿se fue? Go to sleep. <laughs> I went to sleep, actually. Who was it? ¿Con quién, quién era? Vamos a ver. Evelyn falta. Creo que se desconectó por la señal. Oh, sí, es cierto. All right. Uh, have you been practicing the conversation? ¿Ya, ¿Ya comenzaron la práctica de la conversación? Question. No, the conversation. I don't know. No, bueno. Okay. All right. Primero practiquen un poco la conversación. Ok. And then go to the questions, okay? Okay. Nice, nice. Warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of is it for... Hoy comienzo yo. Hagamos la última vez y ahí contestamos las preguntas de abajo. Ok. Thank, thank, thank you so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washers? Of course. It has a capacity. Okay, se me apagó eso. Of course, I, I has a capacity of 5.2 COVID, a turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? Warranty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Could you, I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Pro washer. Pro washer. Pro washer. Mm -hmm. okay. Hello? What question can you say is. Eso sí, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Is it? Instead. Así mm. sería, Paulina. Instead. No sé. Teacher, ¿cómo sería ahí eh, la pronunciación? <laughs> Which number is that? Number, number two. two. Number What two. question can you say instead okay. in, or instead? ¿Cómo es? Instead of repeat. Instead of repeat. Instead. Instead of repeat. Ahí dice, ¿qué pregunta puedes decir en vez de repetir? Uh 
What is the guaranteed promotion? Celia, ¿tenés alguna idea, Sonia? No tengo idea. Como supuestamente acerca de la, de la conversación, va. Uh -huh. sí. Él le pregunta dos veces que cuál es la garantía. Podríamos formular otra pregunta en vez de lo mismo que él le dice. Supongo yo. En vez de solo poner la palabra repetir, dice, ¿qué pregunta formularía usted? What is what is the guarantee the promotion? No sé si estaría bien la what is what is guarantee the promotion. No. Una pregunta. No porque Paulina, bueno creo que ya sí lo he entendido, no se va. Creo Ajá. que hacerlo. Como en la primera le dice que le dé la información de la guía y de uh -huh. ahí le hace saber como que no le entendió o no le escuchó para uh -huh. que se lo vuelva a repetir y por uh -huh. eso le vuelve a decir la misma información. Así sería, ¿verdad, Ticha? Yes. Entonces, eso tenemos que quitar y colocar otra. La pregunta pregunta. Pregunta. Pueden usar el verbo repeat, pueden usar el verbo repeat, pero pónganlo en una pregunta. ¿Cómo le dirían a alguien que ustedes que no escucharon y que vuelva a repetir? Piensen, usen can. Ahí les estoy dando la clave, ¿ok? Sí. Teacher. What's up, people? En la pregunta número dos dice, ¿qué pregunta puedo hacer en vez de decir repeat? Eh, Vaya, en vez de decir algo... solamente, en vez de decir solamente la palabra repeat, ¿cómo formularía usted la pregunta? Ah, ok. Así como está en la conversación. Could you repeat that, please? ¿Otra forma de decirlo? Eh, que... Can you... Repeat... Espera. Can yeah. you repeat... Yeah. Like that. Okay. That would be the okay. Eso era... Eso era lo que quería preguntarle. Si era de acuerdo a la conversación o de acuerdo a nuestro criterio. No. Pero, uh, thank you, como él está diciendo que eh, otra manera de, 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 de hacer una pregunta con el verbo repeat. Entonces, básicamente sería, can you repeat? You got it like that. Ok. Good. Thank you. Ok. Number <laughs> three. How they go store in the hand polite or impolite? Es in... And the agent is a little bit polite, but the customer should repeat that question when he asks about the guarantee. About guarantee, uh -huh. the, repeat the guarantee. The habla habla in polite. Mitad mm mitad. -hmm. Te lo escribo en el chat para que tengamos algo similar. Va, está bien, entonces. 
apa ya ahorita lo voy a escribir tal vez no da el tiempo Hey, Lina, could you give me some information about Pro Watchers? Pro Watcher? Of course. Big size. X was a capacity. I mean, 5.2 Q Crew, a turbo processor, and an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me can you give me information about the one? No, I thought that I didn't see in the conversation. Pero que ahí terminó y eso no es por qué. No, pero queda en puntos suspensivos, supongo que sale. Ajá, ajá, tiene puntos suspensivos. Por eso que no sé, no sé si puede cortar, porque tal si no lo vamos a llamar en la información ahí. Ya no le dijo lo de la garantía. Ayúdenme. Pues ya no terminó la conversación. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, where are you in? Están en la parte en que uh, estamos, estamos respondiendo la, la, la pregunta 3. La pregunta 3. Estamos, right. estamos analizando la conversión a dónde está lo de Cortés y lo educado. No, no. Vaya. Lo único que les está diciendo es la pregunta. Are the customer and the patient polite or impolite? Están siendo los, los el cliente y el uh, vendedor. Eh, polite es como educados o no educados. ¿Qué creen ustedes? Es que se ve como educado a la vez. Pero en la última parte donde el proveedor deja los puntos suspensivos, no sé si eso es mal educado. Porque no le respondió lo de la garantía al final. Mm, no, eso ahí no tiene nada que ver. Simplemente es que la, la no. conversación continúa, pero hasta ahí queda en el párrafo. Entonces ahí no, no. no. Ah. Papá, un educado. Ok, so you can say, right? Ah. No. Uh, lo que pueden poner es en este caso eh, decir they are polite because they use words like can or could ah, son educados porque usan palabras como can and could ah, también uh -huh. Okay, teacher, that's all right. Hello, guys, how do you go? Como vamos? Ya terminamos. Uh, you finished the questions already? ¿Terminaron las preguntas ya también? Sí. Uh, no, 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 bueno, yo no la entiendo muy bien. La pregunta ah, dos. La segunda. Ok, la pregunta dos dice, what questions can you say instead of repeat? Vaya, si pueden observar en la última parte, right, en la antepenúltima dice, eh, en la penúltima dice Linda, I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Eh, ¿Qué otra forma podemos decir eh, eh, esa pregunta? De que repita otra vez. Thank you. Exactly. Ahí lo tienen. Can you repeat? That's the question. Esa es la otra variante que podemos yeah. hacer. Mm -hmm. Please. 
Okay. La primera le pusimos he wants to buy the pro washer. Está bien. Yeah, that's the one. Mm -hmm. okay. En vez de Juan, o sea, le pusimos he. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. That's good. That's good. Perfecto. Bueno, si ya terminamos, entonces hoy sí quiero escuchar esas conversaciones. Let's go to the main section, okay? okay. See you there. All right, so basically everybody is just coming and let's start with the short practice conversation, guys, because I want to listen to you all. Ahora sí quiero escucharlos. Who wants to be the first part to participate in the conversation reading? ¿Quién quiere ser la primera parejita en que me lea la conversación? Everybody is going to participate, so who wants to say me, teacher? Mi teacher, pero no sé si la Sonia quiere. Yeah, a decir eso iba, Paulina. Ay, me llega. Obviously. Ok, good. Let's go. Empezá, Sonia. Ok. Thanks so much for calling. Linda, I'm speaking. How can I help you? Hi Linda, could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course, it has a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. keyboard. I see, can you get... Continue. Yeah, continue, continue. I see. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for. Finish. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Olivia and Sonia. Now. Girls, help me out choosing the next participants. Okay, Brenda. Creo que Brenda dice que tiene, uh, hay parte de lluvia por su zona. So. Paulina, Sonia, help me out choosing another participant. And Christian. All right. <laughs> Christian, let's go. Sí. Con Griselda me tocó. Ok, good. Let's go. Thanks. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Watcher? Of course. It has capacity of 5.2 cubic feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you, can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks, the guarantee of its fourth. 
Okay, the guarantee of it is four. Okay, very good. Thank you to you both guys. Now, help me out choosing the next participants, please. Evelyn. Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn. I started with Walter and with Dennis. Okay. All right. So, first, primero, vamos a Evelyn, you are Linda. Walter, it's going to be Juan. Luego, Walter is going to be Linda. And Dennis is going to be Juan. Y luego, para terminar el circle, Dennis is going to be Linda. And you, Evelyn, it's going to be Juan, okay? <laughs> wow. No, <please>. no, no. <laughs> okay, right now, right now, okay. you and, and Walter, okay? <laughs> sí, okay, okay. okay. Thanks so much inicio. for calling. Uh, Walter, do you inicio? Yeah. Okay. Thanks okay. so much for calling. Evelyn is speaking. How can I help you? <laughs> Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Workshop? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 QFC, a turbo processor, and an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me the information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is four. It is four. Good. Now, Walter and Dennis. Dennis, right? That's the next one. Yes. Dennis estaba lloviendo durísimo. Uh, hello. Okay, good. Ah, aquí está. Walter, let's start. <laughs> Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some, some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5,002. See you if the adorable professor and an uh, intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I am sorry. Could you repeat the place? Can you give me information about the warranty? The warranty of this? Of it is for. Okay. Very good. Thank you to you, uh, guys. Now, Dennis. Let's start, and Evelyn, it's gonna be one. So we're gonna finish that circle of you three, okay? Ya no me gusta así. Thanks so much for calling. Lynn is speaking, how can I help you? Evelyn? Evelyn. Hi, Linda. Ya, teacher, ya. Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 color feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for three months. All right. Hey, bien poquito. Okay, <laughs> good. There you go, Dennis, uh, Walter, and Evelyn. Thank you. Now, Who's next? Let me see. Ronald. Ronald. <laughs> OK, 
okay, Ronald. Yes. So, Isabel, Jorge. Ah, okay, good. So let's jump uh, the practice with uh, uh, Isabel. Yes, teacher. All right, let's go, Isabel. Okay, thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 could fit a term process processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for. Okay, excellent. Very good. Now, Isabel, let's practice with Jorge. But okay. now, the first, uh, okay, you were the first one or the second one? No, you were the first one, right? Okay, good. Jorge, let's start. And uh, Isabel will follow you up. Thank you so much for calling. Uh, Jorge is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Jorge. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 to fit a turbo process process. And a challenging keyword. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty is of it for. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, as it is, Jorge, let's practice with Ronald. Where's the second? Uh, you were the first one on the uh, conversation or the second one? No, you were the second one, right? So in this case, Jorge, let's start. Thanks so much for calling. Jorge is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 to fit a turbo process and an intelligent keyword. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? And sorry, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for. Okay, very good. <laughs> All right. There you go. Thank you to you three guys. Now, Parria. Let's go you and the person that you were working for. Que no iban a escoger ellos, teacher. Ah, démosle, démosle, parrilla. Que ya no parrilla. <risa> Vaya, ya lo escogí. Lionel. <risa> era, era lógico, teacher. No era necesario que preguntara. Ya ve, ya ve. <risa> <risa> Lionel, Lionel, el afortunado ay. ser el favorito de, de Ronald <risa> <risa> bueno pues. Lionel a la par trabaja 
¿Empezar vos o yo? Ya empieza. Ok. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 CU feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for... All right. Very good. Thank you to you too, guys. You did it excellent. Uh, Wendy, I don't know if you have uh, participated. Not yet, right? Brenda. Brenda. Ah, okay. Brenda. My love. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ronald me dijo, Brendita. Yes. Love you, Ronald. Love you, Brenda. Okay. <laughs> se, se escucha entonces. Está viendo, teacher, pero lo vamos a hacer con Edwin. Normal okay. dijo que no iba a participar. Estuvo de oyente, pero creo que no podía. Yes, yes. Okay. Edwin. Comenzá, comenzá. Okay. Comienzo yo. Sí, sí. Thank you so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pros washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 curves, a tool processor, and an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thank you. The warranty of it is for. Okay. okay. Very there you go. Thank you, Brenda. And Edwin. Now, who's missing? Quien me falta? Who's missing? Who hasn't participated? No, sé quien me falta, teacher. Diego, Carla. Ah, okay. Carla, somebody oh, help me. Present somebody. teacher. I'm Wendy. Okay, good. Let's go with Wendy then. Wendy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some, some information about the promotion? Of course, he, he has a capacity of 5.2 QF turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks, the warranty of it. He's for okay, excellent, very good. <laughs> Thank you, Carla and Wendy. All right, uh, who's missing? Diego ya participó. Oh. Okay, Diego, who were you working with? Selena. Okay, I good. Let's go. Work. Selena, conectada. Selena, yeah, she is there. Selena, are you there? Uh, Selena. Uh, yo creo que Selena tiene desactivado el audio. Sí, tiene desactivado el audio. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Así no puede escuchar ni tampoco uh, la vamos a escuchar. So, algún voluntario, voluntaria que me le ayude a Diego, please. Yo dije. Ok, Sonia. Maria. <laughs> Sonia offered herself, so. No se pelea. <laughs> sí o no. Ok, solo Sonia. uno, please, solo uno. <laughs> Ayúdemele, Sonia. Ok. ¿Ya empiezo? Yes. Sí. Ok. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro workshop? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet, a turbo processor, uh, and an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for. Okay. Thanks, Sonia. Very good. Thank you, you. thank you, Sonia, for helping out Diego. And thank you, Diego, for participating. Okay, good. So I guess it was the last part. Creo que era la última, la última pareja, right? Creo que sí. Okay, so if it was the last couple or pair in this case let's go guys into the next activity it says read the conversation and answer what does Juan want to buy guys Juan want to buy he the wants... pro wash Juan want to buy a pro wash buy yeah. Juan wants to buy the pro washer. Okay, good. Pueden decir Juan wants to buy the pro washer o he wants to buy the pro washer, right? Both ways are possible. De ambas formas son posibles. Okay, good. Now, what question can you set instead of repeat? Can you give me information about the warranty? All right. Or simply and sencillamente, can you? Can you repeat, please. Repeat. 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 Right? Pueden incluir, please. Así. Please. Como solamente nos pide, right? ¿Con qué otra forma podemos decir uh, repeat? Podría ser así, nada más. Okay. Great. Are the customer and the agent polite or impolite, guys? Polite. Uh -huh. They are polite. Polite. Y luego dice why. Entonces pueden decir ustedes. Because, because, because the information. Okay, pueden poner así. Because they use words like can. Can or could. Okay, there you go. Or could. Like this. Ah, porque yeah. usan palabras como can o could. And you got it like that, right? Very good. Teacher, this is the way how you got it. Yes? Una pregunta. Uh -huh. Entonces estaba equivocado. Entonces yo porque pensé que entonces el que era, era, era informal. No, en este caso cuando hacemos un tipo de solicitud de ese modo, tiende a tener su cierto grado de formalidad. Lo único que... La comparación de could, could está por encima de Ken en términos de formalidad. Vaya, lo vamos a poner así de este modo. Ken viene siendo un tanto formal, solo que a comparación de los demás moral verbs que vamos a ver, bueno, que vimos ahora y mañana, o sea, Ken es como lo, lo, lo más de abajo. Ok. Ok. There you go. So this is this is like the way how we can interpret can. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna clear up this one, guys. And now, uh, 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 vamos a leer estas de acá. Okay. <laughs> this is it. complete the questions with can and could. Then answer uh, uh and ask with a partners. Vamos a ver. 
Quiero que me ayuden a elaborar algunas de acá. ¿Ok? For example, tenemos can you... Ok, ¿podrían ayudarme a completar esto entre todos acá? Can you... Give me. Give me, ajá. Uh -huh. Water. Water. Ok, can you give me water? Y agreguemos que para ser más super formal, please. <laughs> ok. Can you, can you give me water, please? And the answer? Yes, I can. Yes, yes I, I can. can. There you go. Good, good. Ahora bien, ¿alguien que me ayude con la segunda? ¿O entre todos? Could you tell me your name, please? Okay, could you tell me your name? Okay, very good. And in here, to be formal, please. Yo, ¿algún voluntario que me ofrezca su nombre ahí? Brenda. Ajá. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? People. Somebody tells you, could you tell me your name, please? What it will be? Les voy a ayudar. Sería yes, of course. No. Yes, of course. My name is. Y le pongamos Brenda. All right. So you see? Recuerden que aquí no podría ser yes, I could. Porque la respuesta sería un tanto vaga. Right? Sería, por ejemplo, yes, of course. My name is Brenda. So you see? <laughs> yes, of course. My name is Brenda. Nice, Brenda. Nice, nice. <laughs> Now, number three. Can you do the homework now? Can you do the homework? Okay. Can wow. you do the homework? All right. Now, the answer. Deme una negativa. No, I can't. No, I can't. Okay, very good. Like that is okay. No, I can't. Right? Very good. And now, the last one. Piensen en un verbo. Could you eat with breakfast? Okay. ¿Cómo es eso? Could you eat breakfast? Could you eat, uh -huh. Could you eat with me uh, breakfast? The breakfast. Ah, could you eat the breakfast with me? Uy. With me. ¿Para quién es eso, Fabrina? <laughs> could you eat the breakfast with me? Aquí, aquí en de sus Para compañeras que dicen eso. Ajá. <laughs> Interesante. Ajá. Ok, let's go. What will be the answer, guys? No. <laughs> hey, qué grosero. <laughs> Ay, qué grosero, qué barbaridad, mana. Come on, man. Don't be, don't be rude with her. All right. I was up on air. Ah, right away. <coughs> Thanks. Yo voy, pero se ya pan. Muffin de chocolate. My God. Okay. Very good. Le hubiéramos puesto yes, I could. Como decir, sí, le voy a hacer, pero ay, cuando me dé la gana. Oh, hey, ¡Qué mala pele tienen, Solita, eh, Paulina! No le estaban, no, ya están ahí tachaditos porque no les voy a invitar nada, ¿ves? 
<risa> oh my god. Esos sí son buenos amigos, Paulina. Es que no quieren que no gaste, tiche, por eso. Ah, ok, ok. Piensan en su economía, ya ven. There you go. Good. Bueno, no sé si le están tomando notas y ya lo terminaron. You got it? Because this is going to be the last thing. Porque esto va a ser lo último ya. Yeah, that we're going to be doing, okay? Yes, teacher, porque me deje el camión. <laughs> okay, okay. Just copy that one, okay, then. Me hace saber cuando termine. Finish. Okay, excellent. Finish. All right, nice, nice, nice. Hey, see, just a couple of years to uh, write it. Hay unos escribiendo, así que uh, I'm gonna uh, wait for your confirmation, guys. Wendy, let me know when you finish, okay? Me avisa. Ah, you finish? Okay, perfect. So I am going to stop sharing this, like right now. And let's remember, guys, when you use can and could, it's mostly for polite requests, right? Cuando solicitamos algo de manera formal. Solo que, recuerden, could is more formal than can. Right? That's like the, the, the way how you use it. All right? Could is more formal than can. There you go. Uh, now I'm going to pass the attendance list because that's going to be the last thing that we were doing. Okay? So, and I don't want you to be here for more than the expected hour. So, Selena Janet. All right, so to left. Sí, ya se fue a dormir. Cristian Eduardo. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Dennis Gerardo. Present. Okay, good. Diego Jose. Present. All right, good. Uh, Edwin Ernesto. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. Edwin Leonel. Present, teacher. Nice, nice. Evelyn del Carmen. Present. Evelyn, una pregunta. ¿Ya tuve el, el feedback con usted? No. Ok, ¿podría quedarse un par de minutos conmigo después? Please. Yes. Le voy a quitar mucho tiempo, así que. All right, thank you. Griselda Jamilet. Thank you. Ok, good. Jorge Antonio. Present. Ok, nice. Karen Lisset. All right, so Karen is not there. Carla Patricia. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Humberto. Present. All right, excellent. Norma Jamilet. Perdón, bueno, Norma. Estamos con Norma. I guess. No. Present. Ok, Norma, no la veía. <ríe> ok, good. Paulina Olimpia. Present. Ok, good. Ronald Ulises. Present. Good. Sonia Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Ok, Walter Enrique. Present. All right. Wendy Beatriz. Present. Okay, perfect. Janira Isabel. 
Present. Very good. And we got the last one, Brenda Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, very good. All right, guys. Thank you for getting connected tonight. Let's remember, continue doing the homeworks, okay? And let's see you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye, <laughs> bye everybody. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 All right, perfect, Evelyn. So what are we going to do with this information? Uh, give me one second. Uh, I mean, with this couple of minutes that we are uh, missing in here or having in here, this couple of minutes in here is just for you to ask questions related to the topics that we have been discussing, right? If you have doubts, questions, this is the time for you to clarify any questions, right? Es como, recuerde, es como para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a todos los temas que hemos visto. Si hay algún tema en el que todavía ten, tiene así como dudas sobre algo, right? This is the time for you to ask. So I don't know, I believe if you have questions. No sé si tiene preguntas, dudas. Ah, uh, you have the microphone off. Ah, este tema no, no lo he comprendido muy bien. El quien dice que es para, para habilidades de formar. Vaya, para Ajá. habilidades cuando hablamos en oraciones positivas. En oraciones positivas, mm. por ejemplo, cuando dice usted, por ejemplo, menciona una actividad que usted es capaz de hacer y que... Eh, lo hace de manera sencilla, por así decirlo. Un ejemplo de ello, usted decía, I can cook very well. ¿Si ¿Sí recuerda? Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí está expresa ¿Sí? una habilidad, ¿ok? Que usted tiene. ¿Por qué uh -huh. una habilidad? Porque no todo el mundo puede cocinar. Entonces, ya es una habilidad que usted uh -huh. tiene, ¿ok? Good. En cuanto a could, en oraciones positivas, se puede utilizar para habilidades que usted hizo pero en el pasado. Mm. ¿Ok? Ah, en ese momento, recuerde, estamos con oraciones afirmativas. En oraciones afirmativas podemos hablar de Ken como, recuerde, una habilidad. Vale, lo voy a poner así. Usted decía, I, uh, let me see, I can cook very Well, es como, ah, yeah. yo puedo cocinar uh -huh. muy bien. So, in this case, esto está denotando una habilidad, ¿ok? Habilidad, sí. Exactly. Ahora, por el otro lado, cuando usa could, usted puede decir, I could dance in the party yesterday. Es como, ah. Yo pude bailar en la fiesta ayer. ¿De qué estamos hablando acá? Estamos hablando de una habilidad que usted desempeñó, pero en el pasado. ¿Ok? ¿Qué pasado. Era, era la, ¿Cuál era la habilidad? Ah, que bailó. ¿Right? So, exactly. Eso es cuando usamos could. Pero recuerde, estas son oraciones afirmativas. ¿Ok? Sí. Now, in questions, can you give me information? All right. So you see, can you give me information? Puedes darme información. Ahora bien, aquí ya no expresamos o ya no hablamos de una habilidad. Cuando hacemos preguntas con quién es más que todo para solicitar algo. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. De manera educada. Aquí estamos pidiendo información, ¿ok? Asking for information. 
Entonces, ¿cómo sería la, el, el modo de respuesta acá, Evelyn? ¿A dónde? En esta respuesta. En, esta en, la, pregunta. en la pregunta. Yeah. Can en... you give information? Ajá. Yes, I can. Very good. Yes, I can. I can. If it is negative. Uh -huh. Yes, I cannot. No, recuerde, si es negativa sería no. Uh, no, no, I can't. I can't. There you go. <laughs> ok. Ahora bien, pero ¿qué tal uh -huh. si le digo? Could you. Listen up. Could you. Uh -huh. mm, give me the cell phone. Could you give me the cell phone? ¿Qué le estoy diciendo ahí? A. Ah, ¿Podría darme el celular? Es uh -huh. ¿Podría darme el celular? Aquí estoy pidiendo información, pero de una manera más educada que Ken. Más formal que Ken. Right? Aquí igual. Viene a la misma, al mismo significado. Ok, solo que es más formal cuando usamos could. Aquí ya no es para hablar de acciones en pasado, ok, sino más bien para denotar, ok, una posibilidad sobre algo y que lo estamos pidiendo de manera formal. Right? Formal. Yes. So if I tell you, Evelyn, could you give me the cell phone? ¿Cómo me diría usted? No puedo responder con cool ahí, pero. No. Ajá. Para, decir, para dar una respuesta negativa, no quiero dar solo. Ah, pero en ese caso es sencillo. ¿Qué podría poner? No. Oh, I, ajá. No, hay. Si usted dice no, no quiero, no, I don't want. I don't want. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo? No, no, no quiero. I don't want. Yeah, no, I don't want. Y hay, hay respuesta. ¿Se puede responder así o hay respuestas específicas, así como no. usted estaba diciendo? No, no. Eh, hay, hay respuestas varias. En este caso, esta es una de ellas. No, no quiero. Así. <risa> right. Ajá, porque eh, eh, en mis apuntes decía que puede responder con, con ok o sure, yes o cool. Ah, pero en ese, en ese es cuando la, hora, la respuesta es positiva. Pero este es cuando negativo. es positiva. Ah, ajá. Ajá. Cuando es positiva, claro que sí. Usted puede decir, sure, o yes, of ajá. course. Right? Ajá. Vale. Ah, pues. Exactly. Entonces estaría bien la respuesta, sí. Exactly. Sí, estaría bien. Ah, vale. These are the ways. Entonces, recuerde, could viene a ser sí. más formal que can. Right? Es can. Sí. ¿Puedo o puede? Sí, en este caso puede, puedes, y aquí es podrías. Podrías, ajá. Exactly. This is the way how you got them, ¿ok? Good. So, I don't know if you have any extra question. No sé si tiene alguna otra duda adicional a esto. No, no, solo es. All right, very good. So, ajá. so... Resta más que decirle que toda vez que tengamos dudas con relación a algún tema que esté explicando en el, en el momento, ¿ok? Uh -huh. uh, pierda cuidado, enciende su micrófono y pregúnteme, ¿ok? Que la idea es que todo tema que vayamos viendo vaya quedando claro. Y si algo claro, está claro uh -huh. enciende su micrófono, no hay ningún problema y dígame, hey teacher, I don't understand this part, o no entiendo esto. Can you repeat that again? Right? Y yo con gusto voy a poder explicar otra vez, dando a lo mejor ejemplos adicionales. ¿Ok? Ok. Sí. All right, Evelyn. Gracias. Ok, thank you for getting to this, uh, to this uh, class. And let's see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Ok, good night. Good night.